Gone are the days of just regular baby monitors. The Cubo AI Plus is a smart baby monitor that is marketed as an AI baby monitor to safeguard your child. The Cubo AI Plus boasts a list of impressive features, but are they actually useful or just a gimmick? I'm Kevin, a father of two, a three-year-old boy and a one-year-old girl. I'm always constantly looking for better products to make the difficult task of raising children a bit easier. In this video, I share with you my experience to help you make a better decision. Before diving into the review, let's take a quick look at the options from Cubo AI. Currently, they offer three bundles. All three share many common items that are included in all the bundles, such as the baby monitor, temperature and humidity dongle, and wall plug power adapters. The wall mount set, as the name implies, are for parents who want to mount the camera on the wall. The three stand set includes three different mounting options, a floor mount, a crib mount, and a mobile stand. And last but not least, the sleep safety bundle includes everything from the three stand set and the sleep sensor pad. If you want the wall mount version and the sleep sensor pad, you'll have to purchase the wall mount set and the sleep sensor pad individually. The version I have is the three stand set as our family co-sleeps, so we like the extra options on places I can place the camera. Plus, personally, I'm not a fan of drilling too many holes into the wall of my house. Even if you don't mind drilling holes into your wall, I still think that the three stand set would be the best options for most families as well, since it offers the most versatility. The majority of households in the US do use baby cribs, so the crib mount works well for that situation. The floor mount is probably the better option for those who have babies that are a bit more curious about the crib mount attachment. Instead of attaching the mount to the crib, you would place this floor mount between the wall and the crib. The floor mount is hollow with an insert that you can fill with water to make sure the floor mount stays in place. My favorite is the mobile stand, as this allows you to place the camera pretty much anywhere you want, and the mobile stand is also helpful as children will eventually outgrow the crib, so this offers a method to keep using the Cubo AI without the need of a crib. I found that the camera holds onto this mount pretty securely and I don't have any fear of the camera falling or getting knocked down. Since the Cubo AI is a smart product, let's talk about something that often gets overlooked, the setup. I'm happy to let you know the Cubo AI is fairly easy and straightforward to set up. Nothing tricky about the setup, you can simply just follow the instructions on the app. This is important as I know some parents might not be tech savvy or care to spend hours setting up the camera. I didn't time myself, but I would say I got the camera up and running probably in less than 10 minutes. One of the more important features in baby monitors is the video quality. Many times they look great when the room is well lit, but that's not how any of us use a baby monitor as the room will be dark so the baby can sleep. The Cubo AI, as expected, looks great during the daytime, but most importantly, the images are still clear in a pitch black room. If you worry about an infrared light being bothersome to your child, you don't have to worry about it as there is no visible infrared light on this camera. The camera offers a wide view of 135 degrees. This should easily cover a very large area of the room, but of course, this depends on where you place the camera. The design is clever in that the camera can be pointed directly down when paired with the crib or floor mounts, making it perfect to be placed directly above a sleeping baby. When you're using it with the mobile stand, you can adjust the camera to point outwards. Regardless of which stand you choose to use, it's nice to have a wide range of angles you can position the camera. However, this has to be done physically and can't be controlled via the app. I do wish they had the option to control this in the app, but according to them, this is implemented to avoid other users from messing with the perfect angle you've set. In the app, there's a setting to invite other family members to join and use the camera, so you don't have to share your username and password. You can even adjust the permission that family member gets. I found the app connects to the camera quite fast even when I'm not on the same Wi-Fi network. The last thing you want is for a baby monitor to take forever to connect, especially when you want to check up on your child. If you tap on a video in the app, it brings it to the full screen mode where you can have the option to mute, unmute, record a video, take a picture, or even scrub through the history. You can go as far back as the previous 18 hours. As one might guess, the app is also used to control all the other features built into the camera. Usually I like having status lights on my devices so I know when they're on, but having a bright green light in a dark room is a bit disruptive for sleeping. Cubo AI already considered this and it allows us to turn off the status light in the app. You can even turn on a night light which turns the back of the camera into a little light. It's not overly bright so it does the job well if you or your baby prefer to sleep with a light on. In the camera settings section, you have the option to flip the screen, and more importantly, turn background audio on, which basically turns your phone into an audio baby monitor. 
This means that even if your phone screen is off and locked, audio from the camera will still play on your phone. The camera also has many smart AI features you can turn on such as sleep analytics, covered face and rollover alerts, set crib detection zone, cry detection, cough detection, auto photo capture, and even turn on danger zone alerts. This danger zone alert does come in handy when I bring the Cubo AI Plus upstairs to use as a camera when my son wants to play in the upstairs play area while I need to take care of other things like cooking downstairs. If my son gets a bit too close to the stairs, it would alert me so that I can head over to monitor him. And when my son has pretty much mastered going up and down the stairs by himself, I still prefer to keep an eye on him when he's doing this as you know 3 year olds sometimes get a bit too excited and forget about safety. The Cubo AI Plus does have a dongle that reads the temperature and humidity of the room the baby monitor is in. You can set the comfort range of these in the app so that if the room gets too cold or too hot, the app will notify you. I did find that the temperature and humidity reading was a couple degrees of percentages off when compared to my temperature and humidity reader. No idea which of these two is more accurate though. If you have the sleep sensor pad, this app has a tutorial that teaches you how to set that up. Since we do co-sleep, the sensor pad doesn't really work for us. So with the purchase of the Cubo AI Plus, you do get one free year of the Cubo AI Care Premium, which is a $49.99 value. This gives you features such as moments wall storage and sleep analysis. After one year expires, you have the option to purchase the annual plan for $49.99 or pay monthly $49.99. They also offer a higher tiered plan, the Ultimate, which includes even more features like sleep report, summary, and even access to a playlist by a music therapist for $79.99 a year or $7.99 a month. Should you choose not to extend your plan, you still have access to these features over here, which means that your camera will still be usable even without paying a monthly or yearly fee. I have to say by far my favorite feature of this camera is how clear the image looks both in daytime and nighttime. I've used a decent amount of baby monitors and I'm fairly sure this is the best image quality when compared. Let me know down below if you have any questions about the baby monitor or the app. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one.